everyone. Today is a really exciting day because I have a special guest, Carl Garrett, also known as the Mortgage Guy. We okay. are talking about pre-approval versus pre-qualification, and we are starting right, right now. now. Okay. Hello everyone, thanks for watching this video. My name is Ashley Journey and I'm a realtor and buyer specialist with Town in Charlottesville, Virginia. You can learn more about us and Charlottesville real estate by visiting our website at townseville.com. Carl, can mm -hmm. you tell us a little bit about yourself and how long you've been lending mortgages to our Charlottesville community? How long? Uh, well, like, way too long. Um, I've been in the mortgage business in Charlottesville for uh, 20 years or more. So it, it has been a long time. Wow. It is, yeah, it's been, it's been quite the adventure. Very experienced. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I've been with Movement Mortgage now for, um, oh my gosh, about a year and a half. And I've very much been enjoying it there. It's been it's been quite the adventure being in this business for that long. Yeah. Great. Carl, so I know that this can be a confusing subject for some, and a lot of the time you'll hear people use these terms interchangeably. Can you explain in more detail the differences between pre-approval and pre-qualification? I would be glad to. This is something that a lot of people run into some confusion over, and it's very, very important to make the distinction um, there's even some lenders who don't really understand the difference. So I'm going to lay it out for you in detail, if, if you don't mind. Yeah, okay. absolutely. Pre-qualification -quali Pre is where the whole process starts. And it starts with something as simple as us asking you some questions about some things like your income, about your asset base, which includes the cash that you might have to put down or the cash you might have in reserve. Um, talking. Also, we ask you questions about your debt load, the different loans or credit cards you might have balances on, maybe some of your other monthly obligations. And using that information, we can get an idea of, for example, uh, what type of loan program would work out best for you and what type of home price would best fit the budget that you're trying to keep to. And you know, if, if that sounds good, if it sounds like we're on the right track, then we can take additional information that allows us to pull a copy of your credit report, run your information through Fannie Mae's automated scoring system, for example, and if the score you know, comes back in, in a positive, uh, with a positive score, uh, approve as we say, what that's telling us is that as long as you can properly prove everything you claimed on the application, then you should have no problem getting final approval when your file goes across the desk of the mortgage underwriter. Um, now, pre-approval is, is a different thing. Um, you know, most lenders are gonna. Most lenders are just gonna stop right at pre-qualification and say that's as far as you can go. Um, at Movement, we're we're one of the few lenders who can take the next step and actually get you a pre-approval. And what we do there is we gather the necessary documentation to you know to back up your income, get your bank statements to show you know what your asset base is, and we can send this file into a mortgage underwriter to review and actually give a kind of final approval subject to you know you're finding the home and subject to review of the of the property itself and making sure that your situation didn't change between then and now um, but it's a much stronger type of thing because you've taken the next step in the process it makes your offer a lot stronger to have a pre-approval it makes the process much smoother and possibly quicker if you have a pre-approval before you even secure a contract so those are the those are the big points and the big differences, and I think a pre-approval. Carl, thank you so much for sharing that information with us. It was You're very welcome. helpful. If you have questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment. If you have any questions for Carl or want to start the pre-qualification process with him, his information will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it very helpful. If you've not subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that and turn on notifications so you're notified whenever I make a new video, which is every Wednesday. If you like this video, give me and Carl some love by hitting that thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. See you guys next time. Bye. Those other lenders suck. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably get written up if not fired, but hey. <laughs>
What's the point of sending it to it's compliance if you know they're, they're going to say no? I mean, it's like... They're going to go viral, they, they, Carl. They I see it. it. Before I that. see it. You ready? I'm ready. You just have to sit there this okay. time. Okay. <laughs>